Hello there everyone, it's Carol here. Welcome back. This weekend we're doing another journal in a weekend. It might not be completely finished, you know, from top to toe, but it'll be well on its way. So, last night, Friday night, I did a video showing the new digital kit called, um, what did I call it? Bob Blooms. Yeah, Bob Blooms. Thank you. My assistant, me. Just whispering in my ear. <laughs> and this is the journal that we're going to make. And it's really, really quick and simple. So, first things first. Where's my destruction book? There we go. So, all right. Bold Bloom Journal. All right. You might want to pause this video and write this down. I will add a picture of it, a completed picture, because there's more instructions to go on here. Um, I will add a completed picture at the end of the video. So if you want to pause that rather than pausing it now, then you can do. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is print off the first 12 pages. And what I mean by that is when you scroll through your PDF, if you've purchased the kit, then it's all the pages with all the pretty flowers on. All right. There's three pages at the end that are sort of the background pages. So you're going to print those first 12 off. And then you're going to print on the back side these three pages here. So there's that one, that one, and that one. So those three you're going to print on the back of the 12, okay? But we, we do need a set of these as well. So you've done your 12 and you've printed off your three background pages as well. Now you need to trim off this excess white edge here. Now what you need to remember is that when you print on the back side, depending on your printer, it might pick up the paper slightly skewify. So instead of it going through all lovely like that, that's lovely. It might go whoop, and just skew it a little, which means that if you follow this white border on this side, it might not necessarily, necessarily match up with the white border on this side. So as you can see on mine, look, it's wider at this end than it is at that end. So once you've trimmed all your 12 following this white edge, just check on the back side that you haven't got any white left over. So you may need to trim the pages down just a little bit more. So I'm going to go off and go and cut mine out. And then I'll be back and we'll talk about the next bit. Apologies, I was gone a little bit longer than expected. It took me about what, 20, 20 minutes to cut these out. Now then, one of the things you need to know is if you've printed on the back side and it's printed a little bit skewy because you're trying to get rid of all those white edges, you might find that the odd one or two pages are going to be fractionally out of sync height wise and width wise with each other. All right. Now, I'm not bothered about that because it, it's like it's minuscule. Um, but if it bothers you and you want everything really pristine, what I would suggest is only print the front side don't bother printing on the back side okay so if i do that i don't know whether you can see that okay but you can see that they're slightly taller than some of the others okay now the other thing that i've done is i've taken these two pages out there is a reason to, um, to my madness um, but i've taken that one out so that you can identify if you've got the kiss and I've taken this one out so we're now left with 10 two here which I've taken out and 10 which are going to be the pages of the journal All right you're then going to need your three plain background papers and you're going to cut them into one inch wide strips and it's up to you which ones you use 
you might want to watch the next bit which will might help you to decide which ones you want to use you might decide that you want to use all three okay i've already got some already torn out now i did mine with my metal rule and i was asked about this the other day um let me just get the other two out because I showed it in a previous video, a lady asked me about which one was the best one to use. They're much of a muchness, to be fair. The um, the textured rulers where they've got the pattern on each side so that you've got sort of a slightly smoother edged rip and then you've got a really sort of quite um, exaggerated rip on that side. They come in handy from time to time but these I rarely use, but they do come in handy from time to time. So you would either use a metal one or a plastic one. I wouldn't get both. The one that I use the most is this one, which is just a flat edge metal rule. Um, just because it's, it's easier to just have a slight rough edge. It does give a rough edge, um, but it's, it's very slight. Whether you can see that okay hope you can um so just a simple metal rule will do you but if you want something that's slightly more exaggerated then get either the metal or the plastic i'm always wary of the plastic maybe snapping um it hasn't <laughs> but i'm always wary of it whereas the metal one i know it's not going to snap okay so those are my thoughts on the on those rulers but yeah, I mean, it only has to be, you don't have to measure. You can cut them if you want and measure. But just use your eye to roughly rip out one inch strips. So let's just do, whoops, come on, out of the way. Let me just do a few off here and then you can see. First of all, I need to tear off that, that little edge, that little white edge there and sometimes you'd need to do it slowly bit at a time like I've just done there and then other times let's see if I can be bold yeah I'm not I'm not being that bold am I so when I see all the likes, see the likes of Gal Agostinelli doing this, she just goes, Phew! I'm like, oh, I have to do it a bit at a time. Bit of a wuss. So there we go. All right. And then I'm going to um, fold these in half. Obviously, I'll need to trim the top and the bottom off, but I'll do that later on. And But then I'm going to fold these in half. Now, you could put them on your scoreboard. Where's mine gone? There it is. So you could put your strip on there and score it if you want to be precise. Okay, and it just makes it easy then to fold in half. Okay, and you will need nine of these these 10 pages and I have a feeling that it might be 11 if you decide to keep these as pages in your journal as well because as I say I'm taking those two out so I've cut out my nine strips and I've folded them all in half and I'm just going to ink up with old distress ink old paper just to take away that white edge a bit now, I've used the plain, well, the background papers, I suppose, out of the kit. There's no reason why you can't use any other papers, whether it be book pages, whether it be music paper. Um, I wouldn't use washi tape because it, these are the supports that are going to hold the pages together. So they need to be stronger than washi tape so it really does need to be not card but a firm paper all right um so i'm just going to go and ink these up and i'll be back in a sec
Next step, number four, fold in half the pages, six inside and four outside. At this stage, you can ink the edges of the pages if you wish, and maybe some sewn pages. All right, so what do I mean by that? Six inside, four outside. So these first four pages, I'm just going to fold in half so that the main image is on the outside. That would be the inside. All right, so we're going to do four of those where the image is on the outside. And I haven't picked out any particular pages to do this with. I'm just doing it randomly. And then these six, I'm going to fold it so that the main page is on the inside. So four outside, six inside. Now you can go through your papers and decide which ones you want. Let's say I'm just doing it randomly. From this pile of six, I'm going to take two out and keep those to one side for a moment. Now I'm going to join these pages together. So I've got four and four, my outies and my innies. And you need to do and attach an outie to an innie. Okay? And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to put the two sort of folded edges together and we are going to put one of these strips to join those two pages together, all right? <coughs> now, the easiest way that I found to do it was to add the glue to the strip, and I'm using my Collal glue Maybe, yes, there we go. Only because if it oozes out, it's easy to rub off. And then I'm lining the folded edge of that strip up with the folded edge of the page. And then I'm going to put glue on this edge. And add this one on top. Just make sure that you've got it the right way around. <laughs> There'd be nothing worse than you putting it on and going like... <laughs> now then, can you see how I'm lining this up here like this now? What you have to be careful of is it's really easy, really, really easy to start taking them in a little fraction each time. You've got to really try your best to make sure that they're all butt up against each other. So as you just saw, I just tapped it and pushed them both down in contact with the flat surface and I've got these overhanging bits here um, from the top and the bottom of the white paper that I need to trim off.
and I can also see that this page, this front one here, is slightly taller. I'm not fussed. If I wanted to, I could trim it off. Like a so. Then trim off that little bottom bit. Okay. So now we want an outie. And we're going to get another strip. And we're going to fold that oh, wrong, wrong pile, wrong pile of papers. Fold it in half. Add glue to this edge here. I'm going to have to bring it closer to me so I can see what I'm doing. Then line that up there. Make sure I've got my page the right way round. Yep. Put glue on there. And I don't have to glue right the way up to that folded edge. Folded edge there, turn that over, sit that on top, line it up, pull it this way a little. Do that again because I think it moved. Okay, so I'm going going to continue that with the rest of these pages and I'll be back in a sec. That's my eight pages now stuck together and I'm left with these two which I took out earlier and they're both innies. All right so the main design is on the inside okay. Now what we need to make sure is that on the front of the pages we've got an innie. Because this edge here, this flat edge here, is going to stick to the front cover. So that will need to be on the front. Okay. And also, when we go to the back, it also needs one of these plain papers. Now, there's already a plain paper there because of the number of pages that we've got. So we're going to have to stick together two of the plain pages. So let's do that back one first. All right, so we've got an innie and we're adding another innie to it. So let's use that one. So again, glue down that strip. And as I say, it's more important to get the glue near the ripped edge rather than the back where the folded edge is. So that's going to sit on there. Put glue on there. Make sure I'm the right way up. It's going to sit on top. Then I'm just going to push it down flush with the table. Okay, so that will be stuck to the back cover. So if we flip it over, we want one at the front. Make sure I'm the right way up. Yep, so that's that way. We 
bring that a little bit nearer. I can't see that far away these days. The reason why we're not putting glue right the way on the back of this fold is that it allows the pages to expand a little. Only a little, mind. Only but a mere fraction. There that goes on there. As I say, none of these are matching up you know they're not all dead sized papers dead exact I should say but I don't mind because I'm going to be decorating them and no one will be none the wiser all right so we've got a plain you know one of those so that that will stick to the front cover and that one will stick to the back cover but that basically is the pages done. Now you might need to just um, put your bone folder over these and you might need to use some kind of um, sand and rubber eraser. I recommend one of these because it just helps to take away the glue much easier. And that's your pages all done and dusted. So a little bit of work to do prep wise for it. But as you can see, it comes together really quickly. All right. And then that's what the spine area looks like. OK, we're going to leave that uncovered, but I'll come to that when we come to do the cover itself. So that's your first video. I hope that uh, those that are following along, I hope that that all made sense. If you've got any questions, ask them in the comment section down below this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks ever so much for joining me and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.